Mel Gibson talks about Braveheart, Hollywood's coronavirus battle and why he steers clear of politics. During an appearance on The Ingram Angle, the acclaimed actor-director also touted his new Christmas film, Fatman. Actor and Oscar-winning director Mel Gibson spoke exclusively with The Ingram Angle on Tuesday, celebrating the 25th anniversary of his acclaimed film Braveheart, his newest project, Fatman, and commenting on how the coronavirus has affected Hollywood. Gibson, who stars as Chris Kringle in the fantasy thriller Fatman, told substitute host Raymond Arroyo that his character in the 2020 film kind of revealed the humanity of who Santa Claus might be. He was just a regular guy who lost his faith in humanity a little bit, and sort of was a little down and depressed about perhaps the cynicism around the world and it was dragging him under, he said. Basically, it does kind of have a western format, you know? It's like watching High Noon or something, he said after Arroyo described it as a portmanteau, miracle at the OK. Corral. Pivoting to his other classics, Gibson said he was impressed by how well 1995's Braveheart has held up over time, and that it still has had public screenings even decades later prior to theater shutdowns because of the virus. The film, which follows Scottish revolutionary Will Liam Wallace in his revolt against the English, is considered one of the Peekskill, N.Y., native's most iconic films from both a director and actor standpoint. Gibson's family moved to Australia when he was a child. The filmmaker remarked that he indeed recalls the long days doing double duty on set to put together the movie. That effort, however, scored him two Oscars for Best Picture and Best Director. I was looking at other people to play Wallace but nobody trusted me as a director so I had to jump in there myself that's partially true, he said. It just came to the point where I just had to jump in myself and Paramount and Fox, who were financing the film said well, that makes sense. We want you to be in it. Dot. Gibson said Braveheart likely stands the test of time because of the reverence in America for the idea of freedom. It's talking about things that we all prize and the lengths we will go to to preserve those for ourselves and for our families, Gibson said. And I think themes like that in a country like the United States is really important. One of Gibson's other celebrated films, 2000's The Patriot, also continues to be held in high esteem decades later. In that film, he played South Carolina revolutionary Benjamin Martin who is said to be based in part on a mix of real-life patriots like Francis Swamp Fox Marion and Maj. Jen. Nathaniel Green. Gibson told Arroyo that in addition to a sequel to another one of his highly acclaimed films, Passion of the Christ which he directed and in which Jim Caviezel starred as Jesus Christ there may also be a lethal weapon 5 in the work.